Hey people, Frank's a man here. Working on a Scorpion today. And, uh, finally got some time to work on it. Oh. Last week I was working on it, but I didn't make any videos. It wasn't really anything worth making a video of. It only took like five minutes to actually do the mod. And it went pretty quick. I turned up the governor, is what I did, and added a hand choke. I'll show that off right now. Here's a hand choke. I already had the hole inside the dashboard for it. Uh, to put this onto the carburetor, uh, originally the carburetor throttle had the choke actuation at full throttle, then just a tad more it would close the choke. I didn't like that. I wanted it independent from the throttle, so I deleted the arm going to the linkage. And I added, uh, it's just a, a ride mower choke handle. A little square hole I put into the dashboard to make it fit. And it comes down. And to connect it to the carburetor, uh, obviously I bent it down in there so it'll go onto the linkage for the choke. And to connect it, I used a ring terminal. And this fits right into the ring terminal to the support bracket which is where I mounted it and then I used uh, heat shrink to hold it in place holds it pretty good and then for the governor I had to turn up it wasn't revving high enough so I didn't actually have to bend the spring arm in the back here like everybody says all I had to do was readjust the rod going to the arm that rod that comes out of the motor it's got a little screwdriver slot I loosened the bolt that holds it on there and just turned it just a hair and now it rubs up to where I want it so quick and easy now when you hit the throttle it's instantaneous instead of like halfway through the throttle it starts speeding up as soon as you twist it and this moves up just a hair it speeds up the motor and carries the, the rev all the way through the RPM, all, all the way through the movement of the throttle. Okay. So that's where I'm at right now. I uh, think I'm going to start working on the, the drive system. I kind of have an idea on how to do it, but we'll see. First things first, uh, I need to get all four blue belts on there so I can do mock-ups and that. So, sit back and watch.
Okay, I'm back. Uh, this is day two, Sunday. Uh, beautiful day out. And um, all day after I made the little update on the motor and told you what I'd be doing next, which was uh, working on a drive line. Pretty much spent the whole the rest of the day just thinking about how I'm going to do it. I think I came up with a solution to to where I can have uh, both forward and reverse and it's going to be what I came up with it's basically I got the idea off of uh, someone from the ATLTF forum threw a comment on the on the build thread uh, having a double pulley clutch like they use on the riding mowers but mine's going to be a little more complex and uh, I got to fit it in a tight spot. And it's not exactly going to be working on on the slack part of the belt. It will be working on both parts of the belt since uh, it's so confined in there. Uh, real windy. <laughs> That'll keep the bugs away. Anyway, uh, let me show you what I got, what I came up with. Okay, I, I originally wanted. Uh, some sort of scissors to clamp down on the top part and the bottom belt. Top part of the belt and the bottom belt. Like this and have it to where when it closes you pull on it for it to open. You push on it. I wanted it something like that but I don't have enough room in here. It's pretty confined. I think I got about two three inches this way to work with so pulling something that way or in the back is out of the question so what I came up with is uh, uh, a double pulley clutch to where uh, you have a, a lever down here that pivots one side will have a roller the other side will have linkage going to a top pulley and when that teeters it'll sandwich both of the belts that's going to be part the first part of this video the second part of the video will be attaching that double pulley clutch onto an arm uh, somewhere up there that way it stays put and it's going to be able to pivot and squeeze when it's working. That's how I'm going to try to attempt this. So uh, let me show you what I made so far. I got the, for the arm to hold the double pulley clutch in place. Let me get you in view. It's going to be coming off of this it'll come down and over to hook that up I made this bolt it's got a a pin in it pull the pin this slides over the nut unscrews hopefully I wanted everything removable, I didn't want anything welded in. So this would come out to get it out of the spot is pretty tight. <laughs> there we go. So that's the bolt I made to fit in there. There is a, a slug in this half. So when I tighten the bolt, it draws it forward into the slug and locks it into place. So I'm able to pull the whole linkage set up out of, out of the frame. So that's going to be part of the second video, me making that arm. The first part of this video is going to be making the eilers with the swing arm that sits in between the pulleys.
and to be able to fit pulleys it's not going to exactly be a pulley it's going to be these alternator spacers that I'm going to be using that slides or rolls in the bolts probably won't last long but if this actually works then I'll replace these spacers with bearings that way the bearing races will act as the idler pulleys so this will get me going just to see if it'll work so uh... that's the plan uh, so this video will be uh... Just my camera. on me making that the double pulley clutch setup here we go. Okay, I've been working with this thing off camera. It just seems easier to do this. I've been taking pics uh, to post on my ATLTF build thread. So if you want to see the individual parts being made, uh, well, after being made, I took quick pics of the individual parts and then the whole part together. Um, show you where I'm at right now. Put the camera. Okay, as it sits, I got the double pulleys fastened together. It's basically a hinge setup. The arm that's going to come off from the back is going to either come over the axle or under the axle and attach to the center part which is this bolt right here to hold it in place. But as you can see it hinges and as it moves when it hinges it'll squeeze the belt. It's kind of hard to see with my hand in the way but there. <laughs> That's how it's going to work. Uh, right now I'm at the point where I need to make the lever to swing this arm and that's going to go forward just above the pulley in the front and loop over to the other side. There's going to be an arm on the other side too. Okay, that's where I'm at. Okay, this video, uh, first part of the video is running a little long, so I'm going to break it down into two parts, so it'll be part one and part one. Yeah, confusing. Look for it, it'll be a continuation. So, uh, if you like this kind of thing, rate, comment, and subscribe, and share the video. Thanks, man. Bye.